Carthage is hosting a walk to honor a teacher who passed away tragically in 2021. News 11's Kara Shirley has the story. Tanya Ocampo was a teacher at MCC. She joined the staff in 2012 and quickly became loved by students and staff alike. So when her life tragically ended on November 11th, 2021, the loss was felt deep and the shock was very real. Even in the middle of their grief, they knew something needed to happen to memorialize her. The day we found out that she had passed, that Friday, it was chaos. I was upset, the students, friends and co-workers, and so the students start through tears saying, we're going to make this entire floor Ocampo. I said, I don't think we can make it Ocampo Hall. Then they wanted to take her entire classroom and just make it into her room. We're going to rename it. I was like, no, I don't think we can do that. And then uh, somebody said, well, we're going to have a walk, raise money for a scholarship. And with that idea, the Walk for O was born. With the walk, they're hoping to bring awareness to not only domestic abuse and mental illness, but also raise the funds needed to complete the endowment to fund the Tanya Renee Ocampo Scholarship. Tanya was passionate about MCC. She probably has more MCC shirts than the bookstore has in her size. And she was passionate about education. So it's only fitting that the scholarship be for a student attending MCC and going into the program Ocampo helped to teach. On the business office management, there's business office management technology. Her class, her program was medical office management technology. And now we have accounting. She was big on GED as well. So we want to pull that in as well. The Walk for O will happen April 15th. It's going to be a huge event that will have something to offer for everyone. MCC's track field, and right in the middle is our soccer field. So that's where the vendors and have items that they're selling and all. So from 8 to 8.45 is going to be registration. 9 o'clock, our president, Dr. Hubner, he will give the invocation and give the information and we'll take off walking. Some people run, some people walk, some people just simply come to support some come to just eat. So whatever, we just want people to come and, you know, spend their money. In Meridian, Kara Shirley, WTOK News 11. And if you would like more information on how you can participate in the Walk for O, visit this story at our website, WTOK.com.